everyone and welcome to another uh, Fire Alpaca tutorial. Uh, some of you may know I, I've switched gears in the last couple of months switching from uh, doing 3D over to uh, figure drawing and uh, so I could uh, learn to create my own reference images for uh, sculpting and uh, 3D modeling. So anyway, the, this uh, application is Fire Alpaca, the one that I'm currently using uh, uh, to learn to draw in. And I'll put a link in the description where it can be downloaded. But uh, in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to uh, set up a reference image uh, in uh, Fire Alpaca. Now, there's not really a, uh, an official way to do it, but this is just the way that... Uh, I have found that uh, is uh, pretty easy to do uh, to set up a reference image so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna set up my image to uh, uh, then I'm gonna be drawing on and then I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna open another image and I'm just gonna grab uh, just any old image just to demonstrate okay now I've got two images open here I've got the image that uh, I'm going to use to draw on. and what I need to do is need to be able to see this image over here uh, to use as reference now if you will also notice uh, that there are tabs up here uh, to switch between the images but as far as I know at least I haven't discovered it yet uh, there's no way to open those uh, two images <clears throat> side by side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my reference image here selected I'm just gonna control A to select all control C to copy and then I'm gonna go back over here uh, into uh, my base or my uh, image that I'm going to draw on and I'm just going to go and I can use a uh, control V to paste uh, that into another layer or I can use uh, uh, the edit menu up here to paste that in and as you can see when I pasted that I'd, it uh, opens it on a new layer uh, over here and then I can just go to my select menu and choose transform or the shortcut key is control T so I'm uh, just gonna grab that image I'm gonna scale it up some and just kind of move it out of the way here and then after I'm completed my transformation down here at the bottom I'm just gonna um, along my um, bottom bar here there's a OK and cancel so I'm just gonna say OK to that and that takes that out of the uh, transform mode now if I want I can go uh, lower the opacity of, of my layer you also may want to uh, double click on your layer here and uh, rename it if you want uh, and then you can just switch back over to uh, layer one and uh, just begin drawing so and that's that's about it as far as uh, setting up uh, a reference image in Fire Alpaca um, but anyway that's gonna be it for this tutorial if you have some tips tricks or whatever that uh, you know for Fire Alpaca uh, just leave it in the comments uh, um, like I say I am learning and I'm also considering setting up a blog uh, to kind of show my journey through learning to figure draw but anyway that's it for this tutorial and I, I just a reminder I will put a link uh, to uh, the fire alpaca download and just it does not cost a thing um, you can download and use it and uh, there are a few updates once in a while uh, if you haven't seen uh, my other tutorial on intro to uh, fire alpaca be sure to watch that 
Uh, I'll also put a link uh, to that video in the description. So anyway, that's it, everybody. Have a great day.